Is there anything that's really surprised you about what's happened? You know, I thought we would uh, respond a bit faster. What we're doing, how we're having to change the economy here uh, in order to drop the number of cases, it's, you know, it's really unprecedented. Even the issue of once you get the case numbers down, what does opening up look like? You know, which activities, like schools, have such benefit and can be done in a way that the risk of transmission is very low, and which activities like mass gatherings uh, may be, in a certain sense, more optional. And so until you're widely vaccinated, those may not uh, come back uh, at all. Do you think we're, we're going to think about pandemics differently from now on? <laughs> well, that is for sure. Uh, you know, there were a few movies, they weren't that popular, uh, about this and to make them at least a little bit popular they usually had some miracle happen at the end where some hero you know invented something and boom everything was back to normal no the awareness of this is a threat and probably the biggest threat uh, to you know kill tens of millions of people uh, that will be permanently uh, embedded so this time I do think we will get ourselves ready for the next pandemic have you had any trouble uh, getting adjusted to social distancing at home? Yeah, I, I find it so disconcerting to wake up every morning and think, well, that was a strange dream I had, and then say, oh, my God, yes. You know, look, there's no traffic on the bridge, and, oh, yeah, my first meeting is on that computer screen, and somebody's going to leave some food, but I won't see them. Uh, this is super dramatic you know i use computer screens a lot and i think about pandemics a lot and even so i can hardly believe we're in this situation gates says he thinks we could feel the effects of this well into the summer and the economic effects could linger for perhaps as long as two years depending on how comfortable people are mingling together uh, until we have a vaccine